Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Margot. And welcome to this installment of Think Before You Ink. Part of our mission at the Digital Tattoo Project is to spread news about online trends and developments and how they impact your digital identity. Today we're going to discuss a rising trend that has connected millions of users online and has recently taken students and young singles by storm. That's right. We'll are talking about online dating. Since its humble beginnings in personal ads and video dating, online dating has come a long, long way. As technology becomes more and more integrated in our everyday lives, more people are turning to online dating to find that special someone. In fact, do people still meet in real life anymore? The first major online dating site was Match.com in 1995. The site started out as a digital platform for people to post personal ads, mm. similar to what you would find nowadays on Craigslist. So people would post things like single white female seeking single male to frolic on the 99 B line and eat KFC double downs with. These ads would be displayed online for users to browse through and hopefully find the ad that tickled their fancy. The user profile on Match.com quickly evolved to a hub for profiles rather than a catalog for these personal ads. This new static format allowed users to create individual profiles to display their photos, interests, and hobbies, and ultimately what they were looking for in Mr. or Mrs. Wright. So in many ways, these profiles were no different than your Facebook profile, except for the fact that they are geared towards making romantic connections rather than keeping touch with old friends. This format is now the most traditional dating website format. Online dating has boomed since the early 90s. In fact, it's estimated there's approximately 5,000 online dating services worldwide, with over 40 million users in the United States alone. OkCupid okay, analysts found that the number of online daters peaks at the ripe age of 24. It seems that the stigma of only old people and cat ladies using online dating has long since disappeared. The increasing popularity of online dating has spawned a variety of new websites and even mobile applications. So like I said, online dating is not just for old fogies and cat connoisseurs anymore, it's for everyone. It seems that the millennial era has taken a liking to this digital romancing, which leads us to the next era of cyber dating, accessible from none other than your best friend and most trusted companion, your smartphone. That's right, mobile dating. One of the main differences between traditional online dating and mobile dating apps like Tinder is the use of GPS tracking. Mobile dating applications rely on geotracking to learn your location and share it with others. Using this location feature on Tinder, for example, users are able to see how far away other users are from them. You can adjust your settings to find users as close as one mile and as far as 100 miles if you're craving an international experience. So how do I know that my latest match, a med school graduate, CrossFit enthusiast, poppy lover? Yeah, how do I know he is who he says he is, and not some 16-year-old from U Hill Secondary School? Well, the reality is, Katie, there is no surefire way that the people you meet online are who they say that they are. Even on Tinder? So since Tinder connects through existing Facebook accounts, using this Facebook connection, Tinder will also let you know if your potential match shares any mutual friends or interests. Most Tinder users are in their 20s and check the app over 10 times a day. One reason behind Tinder's recent popularity is, unlike offline dating, the application takes away the fear of rejection. Tinder allows you to browse others' profiles and simply hit a heart if you're into it and an X if you're not. Tinder will only notify you if you have a match, that is, if the hottie you just liked likes you back. And from there, you're free to strike up a conversation anytime you want. Hey, I just got a match. Let me see that. What a dreamboat. And he says he's only a mile away. I have to run. Well, I guess that's all the time we have for today. Have you ever tried your luck with online dating? Is Tinder one of your most used smartphone apps? Tell us what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to visit our website at www.digitaltattoo.ubc.ca.